you have, uh, for example, French or German or, or Dutch or something like that, um, absolutely, I would translate that. I would make sure that I don't auto-translate that, make sure that it would read right to a normal user. And then, if possible, I would put it on separate domains. So mydomain.fr, mydomain.nl. Now, why do we recommend that? The reasons are that, number one, it's a lot easier for a search engine to be able to tell this entire domain is related to this language or this particular country. And the other reason is it's easier for users. You know, you'd be surprised how well someone will, will respond a little more if it resonates with them and they say, hey, this is a local business. It's not just some, you know, translation over on, uh, on a random.com somewhere. Now, that does cost a little more, and it opens you up to a little more overhead. It takes a little more time. But if you're a big enough business where you can afford to get the domains in other countries, I would recommend that. Um, if you can't do that, you can always make, for example, a, a subdomain, you know, de.domain.com or fr.domain.com. But if you have an easy choice and you can get the, the full domain in a different country-level TLD or top-level domain, I would probably do it that way. Uh, one last point of caution uh, there's a lot of people who might think, oh, I'll just automatically translate all my content into 40 different languages, and now 40 different language markets can all read what I have to say. Um, and we're going to make clear, or I'm making clear right now, that our guidelines about auto-generated stuff can also apply to auto-translated text. If you're searching in French and you show up on a page and it's been completely auto-translated and it doesn't even read well at all and no one has put any kind of human care into proofreading it or making sure that it flows, uh, that's really a bad experience. So we would prefer that you maybe add a widget that says translate into this language or something like that and not just auto-translate into a bunch of languages and just throw that content up there. Um, so those are a few things to bear in mind whenever you're thinking about which domains to go with.